hello welcome to another episode of thoughts with tea if you have not watched before where have you been i missed you you are welcome my name is Toyin. on today's vlog i will be talking about christian dating if you did watch my last vlog it was about multi days it kind of inspired this vlog because i feel like there is a proportion of my viewers that may not have specifically been addressed in that video all the video is all encompassing because at the end of the day you gotta do what's best for you but anyways today i want to talk about christian dating <music> So I had lots of Chris send me messages, drop comments across my social handles. I just felt like this vlog was needed. So let's start from here. Not all Christians date. There are some religious practices that discourage, that strongly discourage dating. And there are some other religious practices that allow it. First, should Christians date? My response to that would be, it doesn't totally depend on you as a Christian. It depends on are you attached to any religious group are you attached to a church what are the rules in your church because you can't be in a church and you know you're just doing whatever you like you're not following any of the rules or laid down principles of that church because at the end of the day it would become disobedience if you're there but you are not going with any of the things that are being said there it also depends on your environment whatsoever things are of good reports if it's not directly against the word of god you might want to consider how your environment says it if you're a christian that's all of this are in your favor if you decide to yes of course then what rules what will be involved what would your dating practice be like the first thing i would say is if you belong to a religious group many religious groups have laid down principles if you're in a religious organization that has rules then you have to follow the rules of your religious organization you have to follow the rules of your church because let everything be done decently and in order however if you are in a religious organization where there are no strict rules where well, you are in love as a christian this eventually now comes down to your relationship with god and your understanding of the scriptures it depends on how the Holy Spirit interprets the scriptures to you and how you apply them to your life. We can share with ourselves how we think it should be done. But at the end of the day, the word of God for Christians is the standard. Let's come back to the question of should you multi-date? Multi-dating is not being in multiple relationships. No, you're getting to know more than one person with the, with the possibility of being in a relationship with them. There are some Christians that, that pray before they go into any relationship like they meet someone they feel some sort of attraction they don't take much action they first pray try to hear from god before they start their relationship for a christian like this you cannot multi-date because once you've heard from god and once you believe that okay this person i should be with there's no story of multi-dating you just start dating and you start walking towards a relationship there is no situation there's no <laughs> talk of multi-dating for a christian where it's flexible for you you meet someone you don't mind seeing the person whilst praying and or you don't mind first getting to know a person see if your interest attaches to the person before you start praying then in this kind of situation you can multi-date because i mean you haven't made any decision yet you don't mind praying while seeing the person for some people they would prefer to get to know a person see if they get along with the person because let's be frank with each other because a person is like a christian believes in god does not mean that they are a perfect fit for you does not mean that they would be good partners for you there are like spirit filled fire brunch you know people that at the end of the day they are not they're not the best fit for their partners so some for some people they would like to know am i a good fit for this person this person is a good fit for me do our behaviors even align do our thought patterns you know intersect at any point so they would just like to know get to know a person before they even start praying for someone like this i think you can multi-date what's important is that you have your head in the right place what's important is that you do not you do not abuse most multi-dating and you do not eventually turn it into a situation in which you are cheating then you eventually start a relationship and you're not being honest and then you start cheating or maybe you start having multiple partners in a relationship so i think that for a christian you just have to be true to yourself you have to be very true to yourself you have to be very intentional about what you're doing of course you can multi-date depends on your relationship with god and it depends on how you normally live your life 
do you when you want to make decisions do you ask god first or do you check them out and then give whatever your finding is to god and say okay god in these things what should i do or do you finish proofreading everything and then when it gets to the final stage you now bring it to god and say should i take the final step so it really depends on your relationship with god how you normally live your life how you hear from god how you make decisions yeah so that would actually guide you on whether you should multi-date or not lastly it would be should christians be sexually active when multi-dating your actual life like your relationship with god is personal the essence of the things you do is personal read the bible have an understanding of the scriptures let the spirit of god let the holy spirit of god guide you as a christian be true to yourself be true to whom you believe in ask the holy spirit ask god search the scriptures you have to be true to yourself you have to be convinced you have to let the holy spirit convince you Christian living is personal. Should you be sexually active in a relationship, it's very personal. Too. It's so important for you to be convinced, for you to have faith, for you to have your own conviction in what you're doing. Be convinced. That's what I would say about if or not you should, if you should be sexually active or not as a Christian in a relationship. I hope that this vlog has been enlightening to you. I hope it has helped you. I hope it has helped to shape your thoughts. I hope it has added to you positively in one way or another if you enjoyed this video please subscribe to my youtube drop a like if you have any questions drop the question for me if you have comments drop your comments till i come your way again thank you for watching bye my comforter my all in all, here in the blood of Christ I stand alone. Please subscribe if you enjoyed this. Thank you for watching.